I've always been told that first impressions are everything. Your introduction to meeting someone new is what you're representing. First impressions are also kind of like you setting an intention on that relationship. Whoever you're meeting, it could be a business partner, a friend, an in-law, family member, whoever it is you're meeting for the first time, you are setting an intention on that relationship. So just a simple smile could project you being nice, you being kind, and you know, whatever you are saying, doing, even what you're looking like, how you are presenting yourself, what you're wearing is going to be your introduction, your impression on this person. And from my experience, quite honestly, you don't want to be the quiet one. You don't want to be the quiet person because the quiet person is overlooked. The quiet person is never remembered. If you are just, hi, my name is and you had nothing. Impressions are everything, okay? You can introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Kira, and you know, I'm, this is what I'm about. I smile, I be kind. Oh, I like your shoes, you know, you look great. That's an impression. You want to be able to grasp this person's attention and not, you want them to remember your name, okay? The one thing that we don't remember when we introduce ourselves are names. You want to be able to remember, you want other people to remember your name and you also want to be able to remember their name, right? When you are being introduced to someone, are you always remembering their name at the end? Let's be real. Let's be honest. Are you, are you instead remembering how you're presenting yourself? Are you too focused on what you're doing or are you focused on what they're saying? Because the impression goes both ways. A first impression is also you meeting someone else, them meeting you for the first time. This transaction is, it's both ways. So to have a good first impression, you also have to pay attention. Pay attention to what the other person's saying. Pay attention to what the other person is trying to represent because they're trying to give a good first impression as well. And if you're not listening, well then that first impression is already dwindled. It's already that intention is not there because you, you don't care enough to remember their name. Most people do not remember names in the first introduction. They don't because they're too focused on what they're representing. They're too focused on their impression. It should be both ways. In order to have a good first impression, you also have to pay attention to this person. You have to make sure you understand what they're wearing, what they're represent, what they're saying. And when you meet them, Repeat, repeat what they're saying. If I'm saying like, hey, my name is Kira, you would say, oh, hi, Kira, my name is, you would repeat it, repeat. This also goes into communication skills, but first impressions is everything. I'm telling you, it's everything. And that's why there's books, movies, anything that has an introduction, they focus on the introduction, on an ad, an advertisement. If there's a 30 second advertisement, Best believe they're focused on the first like five seconds. The introduction is everything. Introduction is everything. And it also has to do with how you carry yourself. And if you're kind, you don't want to be the quiet one. To be the quiet one is basically giving the bare minimum of your introduction. You're giving your name, maybe a little intention here and there. And it's almost like you expect something in return when you're giving nothing. Why expect something out of someone when you give nothing? Give some value, make a joke or two, put your personality into the introduction and it reels people in. It makes someone remember you where they're like, hold on, wait, what's your name again? Your name's Kira? Okay. You know, the introduction grabs the attention and that's especially important if you want to get something. If you want to get something out of someone or if you want to get somewhere in life, if you need to introduce yourself to these people, you need to be remembered. You need to be remembered. You don't want to be the quiet one that's overlooked, that's just, you know, plain Jane, no personality. You want to have some sort of remembrance with this person. Even if you're meeting an in-law, a family member, if you're meeting 
your boyfriend's mom or you're meeting your boyfriend's sister, brother, whoever's in the family, you're meeting someone new for the first time, you want to be remembered. You don't want to be remembered in a bad way. Whereas like they're making fun of how you even introduce yourself or you trip over your own words, you don't, you're nervous, you're too nervous to speak. And at that point, if you're too nervous to speak, you will not even grasp anything this person is telling you. You are not going to remember anything unless it's unless it affects you, unless you're bothered, unless they say something mean, you know? But usually when you're nervous in that first impression, those first five seconds, you got to remember that person's name. You got to remember that person's name or that impression is dwindled. There is no, there's no connection. There's no intention. It's just, hi, I see your face. You see my face. That's it. That's the impression. That's the introduction. There's no remembrance. Even if you were to leave the room, would they be able to identify your face? Would they be able to remember your face and describe it? No, because they don't care. They didn't care enough to. You have to be remembered. You don't want to be the quiet one. You want to be the one that is respectful, kind, you know, making jokes, doing things that are, you know, that make someone look at you like, hey, who is this person? Who are you? You know, put your personality in the introduction. Does it need to be this whole, this is who I am. You better accept me. It doesn't have to be dramatic or yeah, it doesn't have to be dramatic. All it has to do is be kind, be, you know, kill, kill with kindness. Killing with kindness always works. It always works. Even if you're nervous, if you're nervous, all you got to do is just compliment somebody. Compliment, compliments go a long way. My advice to anyone who is meeting someone for the first time, first of all, you remember their name. That's first and foremost. You gotta remember that person's name. If anything, repeat it. Be like, hey, how do you how do you pronounce your name again? How do you say your name? What's your name again? Even if you have to ask for their name again, don't be don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask for their name again. Cause quite honestly, they might actually be excited to say their name again. Oh, my name is Kira. Yeah, my name is Kira. You want to know my name? Oh, it's a compliment. You want to sound interested. You want to be interested. So asking questions, compliments, complimenting someone, whew, that will open up a door of relationships. I'm telling you, everyone, everyone accepts a compliment. Are you kidding me? This isn't Regina George and the freaking Mean Girls. Like, if you mean it, mean it. If you don't, don't say it. You know, like, just be kind, be nice. And that goes a long way, especially with women. <laughs> especially with women. If you want to make a good first impression with a woman, compliment her. Compliment anything about her. Okay, not anything. Not anything. Kind of be a little more, you know, you want to be obvious with it. Like, oh, I like your hair or, you know, I like the details in your shirt or what, you know, compliments. I like your shoes. Where'd you get them? Or, you know, I like the way you did your makeup today. What? Well, how'd you do that? Things like that creates like a suspense. Like if you're asking questions, someone is like, wow, someone's interested in me. So I'm going to pay more attention to this person who's asking me questions because now I feel like I'm, you know, I'm, pre I'm presenting myself in a good way. You know, they feel like they're being seen. And at the same time, you're being seen. You are not the quiet one. Being the quiet one is literally saying nothing. Expecting the most, doing less. You don't want to be the quiet one. You want to be remembered. You want to be kind, respectful, and you want to reciprocate. You want to receive that back, no? You want to receive kindness. You want to receive respect. And you want to receive a good first impression from other people as well. So, like I said, first impressions are everything. And if that's what you're focusing on when you're meeting someone, you're sealing the deal. You're sealing the deal not only on what you want out of the conversation, but you're sealing the deal with the relationship with this person. The relationship is going to go further. It's going to, you're going to have more of a relationship if there's questions involved. Instead of just, hi, my name is... Let's get straight to the point. Let's get straight to business. Business never works that way. You have to create a connection. You have to create a relationship. There's no trust without a relationship. So, yeah, that's 
pretty much what I wanted to say today. Um, first impressions are everything. I have a pretty good experience with meeting so many new people in my life, so many new people, so many different domestic, so many different people, like types of people, personalities, like first impressions are everything. And if you focus on the first two minutes of your introduction, your first, the first things you say, the first things you do, what you're wearing, everything, I promise you, you will seal the deal with yourself. You will sell yourself like you've never sold yourself before. And compliments are everything. Make sure you compliment. Thank you. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow.